Hello, you guys. Welcome to my channel. If you are returning, thank you for coming back to this video. So I have my 2022 planner lineup. So I'm super excited. I don't think too much is going to change for me. I'm going to try to bring back most of the things that I already do have. I did purchase a few planners this year in 2021. So let's go over what I'm going to be using. So the first thing that is staying is my PM or Louis Vuitton small ring agenda. And it is in the monogram print. So that was a mouthful. So I am staying in this as my everyday carry, my wallet. It will house mainly my appointments, my cash envelopes, and, you know, the things that I need to have on a daily basis and to keep in my purse. So in here, I haven't even changed over anything for this uh, for December. It is pretty much all of the things that I have in here since November. So I do have like flip throughs and setups of all of these things. So hopefully soon I'll have a setup of my December. So I just need to change out my inserts. All of my inserts I create in here. So I just have like a list section. You know, I carry my month in here. And then I'll have my weeks in here. And like I keep my appointments. So it's very simple. This is my sort of everyday carry. Although I'm not out regularly, um, this is the perfect sort of on-the-go planner. And it's nice and small. So that is what I will continue to use or some type of PM size because I don't like to generally go bigger than this or some or sorry, uh, a seven size, which this is what this size is, which the and it has a six rings. So this is just a uh, a seven and I will probably just rotate my mo terms or this planner or maybe I will get it in the demi bean as well. If I get a good price. So I got this for a great price over um, in November. I think a lot of people right now or over the last few months have been trying to kind of get thing, get rid of things that they don't want because they know clearly Christmas is coming. So that is it as my on the go. Next is also um, a Louis Vuitton item and it is my desk agenda. I will be taking my half letter into 2022 same concept all of my inserts in here i have made myself so i do have um i was primarily using this for just everything and not sort of splitting up everything because it got a little chaotic as i was trying to you know open up uh, my small business get my website together so just really honestly wanted my home everything in one spot so i was primarily using that for that reason so December is set up um, I do have three different like sections in here for you know tracking my finance and you know doing all the things so I do have like a finance section I do have my you know my social media and everything in here of that nature these are I could just show you just the different layouts I'm using in here so it is basically Frank and plan. So I am using, um, as I said, three different layouts. This is uh, my vertical boxes that I created. And then the last um, layout in here is, I so I have some important kind of information, people's addresses, stuff like that. So I don't wanna show those things. That wouldn't be very nice. But um, yeah, so that's pretty much what's in here. So I'm loving this setup still. Um, will I use this for everything? I think I need to separate my personal life from sort of my financial social media life. And that is coming out of here. So the next setup is going to be my happy planner. And it is going to be Franken planned. And if you don't know what a Franken plan is, is when you use multiple planners in one planner so sorry if you guys are seeing all the cat hair and all that stuff but i'm just super cold because i'm getting over a cold so this is um the teacher layout in a classic size <clears throat> a teacher layout is basically um it goes from monday to friday and but what most people and what i do is i go dates across because there's seven boxes going across 
and then here will be my subject. So I mostly use this as a subject layout. So at one point it was like home, you know, uh, workout, food, uh, my parents and the kids, what they're doing. So I think for this one, I am going to maybe still use that. I haven't 100% decided, but definitely this is one of the layouts that I will be incorporating into my Franken planner. Next thing will be this 18 month um, vertical. It is very neutral. It is a beautiful planner. You would have seen this in my December uh, Franken plan transformer setup. And it is the same thing. It is just a vertical boxes. It is just black and white. Absolutely love it. It is super plain. You don't need to cover up anything in here. Every single month is the same thing. Just plain and, you know, a neutral palette. So I love this. It will be going into the new year with me. And I think I'm going to continue to use this for my fitness and, um, incorporate three boxes like to say um uh, my my actual um like sort of thought for the day around my health and then i'll still have my workouts and then lastly my um my my food so that will be the three vertical boxes what i'll continue to break them up to use and this is what's going with me into next year so this last one is going to be my home and it is uh, something new I'm trying. It is from the Spoonful of Faith line and this is my first, I think, 12 month because normally I'll buy my planners when they're already starting to kind of clearance them out early in January. So then I'll use the full year, but then I'll lose six months, which is fine because by then I'm ready for a new planner anyways. So I am going to be using this going into next year. It is just from January to December and it is a line vertical layout. So I absolutely love the color palette of it. It is beautiful. So I've never actually used a line vertical. I think I lie. I did have a mini happy planner that was a vertical lined, but I mean, the lines are just way too small to use for that purpose. So this will be my home planner, which will be Franken plan with those other two. And the layout is, as I said, a very neutral lined vertical. So I like this because I am a lister. So what I'm going to do is when I'm planning out my day, things I need to do, I can put in, um, I could put in the things that I need to accomplish for the day that have to do with the home or, you know, another way you could probably use this if you wanted to use a line vertical, like to journal in here, stuff like that. So that is definitely what this will be intended for. And I love that the dashboards are just, they're beautiful. Like this is February, March. Let's do a quick little flip because it is so pretty. All of these are so my aesthetic. I love these neutral sort of, you know, golds and pink, soft pink, stuff like that. So I love this. It is so gorgeous. And my month, let's see, plant dreams and grow a happy life. That is so me right now. I love this. It's gorgeous. So this will be the last planner. So I, I find that over the years, like I've really sort of complicated things and Definitely having a lot of planners that I would use for a little bit and then get deterred because I'm like, I can't keep up or, you know, I wasn't having a lot of things to plan. I shouldn't say I couldn't keep up more than because life slowed down. I didn't have too much to plan. So I was like, okay, well, one planner might work. So now that I have my planner system going, you know, I know what works for me, what doesn't. I can have my home, my home, you know, wellness, everything encompassed in my happy planners, which I love playing with the stickers. And then even I'll still incorporate stickers like in my, my Louis Vuitton uh, planners. I don't have to, but yeah. So this is my 2022 lineup. If you guys have any suggestions or questions, leave it down in the comments. And then I will see you guys in my um, setup videos for the rest of my my uh, planners because I clearly am behind with setting those up but we're here that's all right
I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you're not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button, and then I'll see you guys in another video.